We have a ship that's so small it can barely fit one person. This is a ship that's only 45 feet long. And these are probably the smallest submarines in the entire world. The long as a Ford F-150 has gone viral on social media. The image surfaced on Reddit, and now people can't stop talking about the smallest ship in the US Navy. Some might say it looks adorable, but this little guy's there for a purpose. You see, they're usually used for tugging small ships and deploying underwater fences. It's only 19 feet long and 10 feet wide. It has a draft of 5 feet. The power is provided by a Cummins CBTA 5.9 diesel engine, which produces exactly 260 horsepower. The first time a ship this small came to auction was back in 2007. And even though it might seem weird, the Boomin' Beaver was bought for an astounding $100,025. Maybe that's the price tag you have to pay for owning the world's smallest plane. In the 20th century, the Allies didn't want to use steam turbines or reciprocating steam engines like the others used. They wanted to build a small torpedo boat that would use petrol engines found on airplanes. They would then change and modify them to fit the water environment. Later, the petrol engines were replaced with diesel-powered ones. Regardless of the engines they used, they all went under the same name of motor torpedo boats. The Vosper designs they came up with at the time were around 70 feet long, but this one was the smallest Vosper measuring only 45 feet (13.7 meters). When building them, these small boats were intended to be carried by some of the larger vessels. Even though the Admiralty took them up, they soon found the boats to be of poor seakeeping. As such, they were not used in combat, but still, a 45-foot boat was impressive. It may not be a ship, but it still counts as one of the smallest submarines in Iran. As pressure from all sides is mounting over Iran's nuclear program, they had to find some way to smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, they had to find some way to protect themselves. They say that this 120-ton Gandir-class submarine was first produced in 2007. They claim that the submarines have excellent shallow-depth performance and carry out long-term coastal missions. They were mass-produced, and when coupled with the guided missile launchers, these small submarines will be placed for peace and stability in the tumultuous Persian Gulf. While the US was developing their own version of the motor torpedo boat, the Royal Navy in Britain was working on the British Power Boat 60. As the name suggests, this boat measured 60 feet 18 meters in length. The first time the Royal Navy ordered these bad boys was back in 1936, and the order was for 18 units. Even though the order was small, the British had a slick trick up their sleeve. You see, they painted the boats with different numbers, and then the photos were distributed to the press. When they ran their articles, it seemed like they had more units than they did. They even sent a photo to the American magazine Popular Science, which showed the number 23. When talking about the speed, we should point out that they could zip across the seas at 38 miles per hour, 61 kilometers per hour. On top of this, they carried two 18-inch, 45-centimeter torpedoes. This made them dangerous in combat. This is one of the other Vospers we talked about earlier. The design is similar to before, the only difference being that this Vosper is 70 feet long instead of 45 feet long. This larger model was produced in 1940, and the modifications were plentiful. Some MTBs include 31 to 40, 57 to 60, 222 to 245, and many others. These boats were powerful as they used not one but three Packard V-12 marine engines. This allowed the plane to reach a speed of around 43 miles per hour, 69 kilometers an hour. Aside from the unprecedented speed, it was also equipped with two 21-inch torpedo tubes. They also had twin 13-millimeter machine guns and an additional two 7.7-millimeter machine guns. This small military ship was more than capable of carrying depth charges that the crew could deploy. The 70-foot Vospers were so popular that navies worldwide used them too. Similar in size, length, and power and class, the Scott Payne Type G70 was designed by Hubert Scott Payne for the Canadian Powerboat Company. They, in turn, built ships for the Royal Canadian Navy. However, don't let the name fool you. It was 72 feet 6 inches long, 21 meters, and had a width of 20 feet 7 inches, 6.3 meters. The boat used three engines, and they were either Packard or Rolls-Royce 14M supercharged V12 engines. These three produced a total of 3,750 horsepower. The one thing this boat was lacking was range. It could reach a target of 140 nautical miles, but what it lacked in range it more than made up for in speed. It could reach around 47 miles per hour, 76 kilometers per hour. As armament, the ship was equipped with an auto-loading QF6-pounder gun, 
two 21-inch torpedo tubes, two torpedoes, and additional 50 Vickers machine guns. During World War II, the USA was dragged into the fight after the attacks on Pearl Harbor. The United States Navy wanted to introduce boats that would be much smaller than those used by enemy navies like Japan, Germany, and Italy. Unlike the lager, steel-hulled watercraft people knew, the Navy wanted to introduce smaller, agile torpedo boats. Later, these boats became known as motorized torpedo boats. The Huckins boat measured 78 feet, 23.8 meters in length, and had a draft of 5 feet, 1.5 meters, and a beam of 19 and a half feet, 6 meters. The boats were powered by smashing that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell. But no, in all seriousness, they were powered by three Packard engines, which created 1,350 horsepower each. This meant that the 11-person crew enjoyed a top speed of 42 knots, 78 kilometers per hour. It was also equipped with four 50-caliber Browning machine guns. On each side of the ship, there was a torpedo launcher. The Hutchins PT boat was extremely difficult to hit, lightweight, fast, and delivered fatal blows to large enemy ships. During the Second World War, this was probably one of the most popular torpedo boats they introduced in June 1942. The PT-105 served on the Panama Sea frontier, then moved to the Solomon Islands. The ship had a displacement of 57 tons and a length of 80 feet, 24 meters. The beam was almost 21 feet, 6.3 meters. The three Packard gasoline engines provided the PT-105 with 1,500 horsepower each for a total of 4,500 horsepower. This allowed it to reach a top speed of 47 miles per hour, 76 kilometers per hour, and at full speed, the ship could run for six hours nonstop. Unlike the other motor patrol boats, this one is slightly different. It had four torpedo tubes, and it carried four Mark 8 torpedoes ready to be launched at the enemy. There was also a single 37mm M4 cannon, there was a 20mm Orlicom cannon aft, and two M2 Browning 15mm machine guns. However, after the war, on November 1, 1945, the ship was stripped and only then scrapped in Samar in the Philippines. Seeing the success of the Hutchins PT boats during the war, the Soviets designed their own torpedo patrol boat. They called them the Komar-class missile boat, and they came into production in 1952. When the project was finally canceled and the production stopped in 1960, there were 112 missile boats. On board each of the ships was a crew of 17 people, three of which were officers. The armament they used was two 25mm 2M 3M guns with around 1,000 rounds. And there was the iconic KT-67 missile launcher carrying the P-15 Termit anti-ship missile. In total, the ship measured 83 feet and 4 inches, 25.4 meters. The beam of the ship was 20 feet 6 inches, 6.2 meters, and it had a top speed of 51 miles per hour, 81 kilometers per hour. The 4,800 horsepower engines enabled the speed while the giant fuel tank allowed this powerful but small boat to reach destinations 600 nautical miles, 1,100 kilometers away. This is the smallest U.S. Navy ship today. It's a patrol craft, and compared to the other examples we've listed so far, this one is comparatively large. However, many of the missions require more firepower and battle endurance, so size has to go up. Measuring around 178 feet, 55 meters in length, and a weight of 288 tons, this Cyclone-class patrol craft can carry 28 crew on board. The U.S. Navy acquired 14 of them in the 1990s, and they can reach a top speed of 35 knots, 65 kilometers per hour. As for the armament, there are a plethora of guns, like the M2 50 caliber machine gun and the 7.62 millimeter machine gun, grenade launchers, like the MK19, and stingers, like the FIM-92, which is perfect for air defense. Now, if the occasion calls for smaller boats to be used, then the rigid hull inflatable craft, along with the two combat rubber raiding craft, will come in nicely. So far, they've mostly been used in the Persian Gulf and the Caribbean. Bye for now.